Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my uh, Fallout New Vegas Let's Plays on very hard difficulty and uh, hard mode on on. <laughs> so yeah, turns out I uh, yeah I read the I read the comments by the way that you are providing me with because these are not pre-recorded videos. <laughs> so turns out on hardcore you can't uh, heal your limbs by your stim packs. <laughs> <laughs> Only the doctor thing, the doctor thing, and one more th uh, aid that I forgot what, what it was. Uh, but essentially, in this video, we're continuing. They went that away, so we came to Novak. Uh, that's the new city over here, right? And uh, I guess we're gonna be doing some more chit chat and everything like that, and see what happens next. So, uh, looking on my inventory. I'm pretty much all sold out and turns out thanks for the comments because I thought I thought the misc these a hundred dollar NCR and stuff like that it's might be used for some special store or something turns out it's just like that pre-war money that you just gotta sell <laughs> and that's what I'm planning to do because I got a whole bunch of those and I hope I'm gonna find some dude that has some ammo or whatever but first let me uh, kinda like jump in here and see if there's anything else I can pick up worth of value and you know kinda like and I hope to find some ammo cause look at that I'm already running out jeez Oh, steel 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 should have guessed alright there's nothing in here and oh what's up Godzilla how you doing today alright so where's the entrance I guess that's the entrance right no vacancy but why I'll take a little screenshot of that over there. Open the gate. What is that? Open. Oh, that's good. Let's go inside. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, this might be a store. Hey, look at that. T-Rex toys. What's up? Okay, where is the vendor? I know it's nighttime and all, but... Come on, man. You gotta be open 24/7. You missing out on the clients. Ooh, the express box. What's up? Ship to. Ah, there you go. <laughs> cool. All right, cool. Hmm. Okay. It's my second box that I found. I think I missed out on some. There's the T-Rex. What we got here? Oh, it's a building. Let's go inside. Door to Dino Bike Gift. Gift. Oh, maybe it's another store. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Come hey. on in. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Dino Bike Gift Shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Hey, man, what's up? Nah, nah. What do you sell here besides the, the gifts? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. What about supplies, guns? Do you sell any of those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. <laughs> it's the end of the world, man. <laughs> Nobody need those things. Well, what you gonna do? You, you gonna see a girl running at him? At you? you gonna throw a T-Rex at him? <laughs> okay, tell me more about the souvenir rocket and stuff. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. Is that so? But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How did they end up there? Here. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. I'm looking for a man in Jericho. Have you seen them? Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. 
Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Wanna play Karma? No, hey, no, I'm not playing that stupid game. Sure thing. Have a look. My man, look at that. 600 caps. You rich. <laughs> he got some ammo too. I'll take these. What else do I gonna take? 44s. Nah. I'll take the 10 millimeter as well. Uh, what else you got here? Five, five, six. Hello, my man. Seven hundred caps. Cockroach. What about nine millimeter? You gotta be kidding me. You ain't got no nine millimeter. Man, I think I should start using some shotgun stuff. You know. Okay, fine. I'll take the shotgun too. Gun spread. Man. All right. What about what else you got? Misc? No oh, dino souvenir. Look at that. What? Value one thousand. Weight a hundred. Cap one. What's up with the value? So I just take it and sell it elsewhere for a lot more money or something? Well, we're gonna check it out later. I I, I ain't taking nothing that weighs a hundred. What kind of <laughs> is that little toy that we saw over there on the shelf weighs a hundred pounds? <laughs> what is it made out of? Gold? <laughs> All right. Ooh, increases ammunition capacity by thirty, and that's the nine, nine millimeter SMG. Sweet, I actually have one. Maybe I should start using that one. But man, it's gonna spit ammo. T-Rex. What else you got here? Laser pistol, laser. Man, so much stuff for laser, but nothing for a got Kokoroch 10 or 9 millimeter. Power fist, pre war money, large pistol. I'll take the prime box too. Just start make, trying to make those. What is that? Increases damage. Reaper. I was for I don't know. Rocket souvenir, teddy bear, add long scope, night scope. Vermin. I already have that one. Okay, man. Okay, man. Let's see what we got here. Caravan shotgun. Dynamite sucks. Take that. I'm not going to use grenade rifles. Take that. I got a lot of 10 millimeter pistols. And I take it, whatever. Then, ah, oh, I should have worn the trader hat. Damn it, I forgot all about it. All right, let's see what we got here. Brahim steak meat, new, new hydro jet pack. No, 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 no. Take the one. Turbo smurbo. Alright, take the baseball, I don't even know why I have it. Items, NCR money. Psh. And now I'm broke. At least I'm making some caps in return. Alright man, we're good then. Thank you. Goodbye. Come back soon now. Alright man, I'm just gonna spook around over here if you don't mind. See what else you got here. Door to Novak. Oh, what's up? Boom. Man, that's a good snip sniping position. Ooh, I like those glasses and the beret. Can I have it? God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I'm gonna give you a headshot. <laughs> That's what I want. You're gonna be talking to me like that. Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting Ouch. all along. Why are you here? <laughs> P 
you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip off. <laughs> yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. <laughs> just wanted to check the view. I think you better leave. <laughs> just making a friendly conversation, man. What's wrong with you? Put that smile on your face, man. Positivity attracts positivity, brother. I don't have friends here. Man, this cockroach is a lone wolf. What can I say? <laughs> I don't say I want to be your friend. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. And why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Oh, damn. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Oh, man. I, if that were, oh man, now I, now I know why this guy is so uh, not not friendly. Damn. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you out, brother. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. But how do you know your wife is dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. Why is that yeah. I have a feeling that his wife ain't dead, man? I just have a feeling. That's all I know. Let me see that beret. Light. No bonuses. None. Alright, I guess I don't want to put that beret right now on me and give a signal to people. Hell, man, I, spec with the, I spoke with that guy. He knows everything, man. <laughs> okay. Well, we got ourselves a new quest, huh? Data. Cold heart. Ah, uh, no, wait. Cold, cold heart. Spread the word of Legion. But I started a war with him. Wasn't this supposed to kind of like. You failed? <laughs> One for my baby. Ask around Novak information about the kidnapped wife. Send someone in front of the dinosaur to put on the beret to signal. To put on the beret to signal to the ball that this is. Ah, uh, okay. Yo, man, where are you? Cell, man. And look, and this T Rex is like weight zero something. All right, man. Let's go. Chit chat, chit chat. Hello. How you doing? This beautiful. Oh man, this guy is filled with these dinosaurs. <laughs> man, you got even them on the skate. Oh, I thought it was a skateboard. <laughs> Lol. How you? Hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop, you'll have to wait till it opens. Now nah, I don't want to buy anything. What can you tell me about Moe's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Oh, okay. Come back soon now. I guess we'll need to speak a little bit more with more people. I don't want to, an innocent man getting shot. Hey, what's up, Ranger? We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hey, Andy. Oh, man, so many things. Come with me. Ah, oh, okay, let's go. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. 
That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? You know, maybe she ran off? What's wrong with that guy? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Vargas. <laughs> Maybe we got a love triangle going on. <laughs> was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Eh, wouldn't you feel better if I check out your friends? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Mm. Tell me more about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. I want to be a ranger. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Damn. Your body is injured, but not your mind. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know? Maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Duh? Oh, man. You learned Rage and Take Down Special Move. To use this technique, initiate the power attack while moving backwards. You will drop your opponent on the ground. <laughs> What's up, Ranger Andy, man? <laughs> My man. I'm glad that I talked to him. What's up? We haven't done. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Cool, man. Oh, no. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but. If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. All right, man. This guy's like, man, I feel that like me and Andy, we're going to be good buddies. <laughs> I ain't no more nothing. 
just a few more rooms and stuff. Door to Mummy Vargas. Vargas! The love triangle. I'm telling you, that's the case, man. He probably, you know everything. What's going on, man? <laughs> Who are you, man? I'm Manning. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. What do you protect your own town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. <laughs> and why is that, I wonder? <laughs> uh, what was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle. The discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen Bitter Spring? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. So why are you on bad terms boom? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you are? What did you and Bone Live argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. <laughs> okay, no no love triangle, man. He doesn't like that woman. <laughs> do you have anything to do with moving on to appear? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. And I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. <sighs> so you were a gang. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Huh. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need too. Confirmed bachelor. I got that perk skill, what up? <laughs> you had your need <laughs> for too long, haven't you? I can tell. Yeah, I. everybody depends on you, you know? But they don't ask you about how you feel, what you worry about. There's something I like about you. You just seem really understanding. I was going to ask you for a favor, but I'll just tell you what you want to know. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. All right, man. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where is the city? 
It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Gotcha. That's all I need to know. Glad I could help. Hey, I know you've got no reason to help me out now, but you seem really nice. Could I at least tell you about the problem we've got here? Uh, sure. <laughs> See, I was right about you. Oh. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Why don't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Okay. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, man. No problem. It'd mean a lot to me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. <laughs> I love the name of that quest. <laughs> What was I supposed to do again? Oh, no, 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 no. Come with me. No, this guy definitely yeah, didn't know love triangle. Usually there is always a love triangle, but this time I feel I'm wrong. And there ain't no love triangle here. Or maybe. Who knows what other people will tell me. Maybe some dirty secrets. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this might be my home, my new home. Requires a key. <clears throat> um, come on. Hey, Bruce. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have. Wait, you, you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Uh, oh yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for you to suffer. Nah. Sorry, it's just you look like his type, you know. You got that hard ass wasteland explorer thing going on. <laughs> Why would this Mr. Bishop want to be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see. Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. <laughs> so you rob a casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Hey, well. <laughs> That'll take some balls, man. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. <laughs> That's tough, right? Good luck with that. I'll let you know if I can find a way. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People <laughs> used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Alright. No, you... Uh, yeah, yeah. No information. See you later. No information here at all? Oh. Well, I can take his stuff. For some reason. I'll sell it. Hmm. Weird. Radiated water, man. Come on.
Maybe I can't find no one because it's freaking night time. Okay. Boom. Let's try it out. Teddy bear. Foot locker. Dehydration level is messed up. Oh man. So someone's got a mushroom growing right on the top. <laughs> it's a lot of cleaning, huh? Many room. What the hell? Motel room. Nobody I can speak with? Come on now. What is this? Do wait. Oh, look at that. There's a tent. I don't think I've been there. Ah, I've been here. Hello. What can I do for you? Hey, the medical yeah, supplies. Oh, she ain't got caps. Okay, gotcha. I need to be. Maybe some more people at that dinosaur thing? I've been at those houses. Oh, look at that. Grave. <laughs> I got my shovel, man. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Badsy. Have I been here? Hello, people! Novak, settler, settler, settler. Damn it. This kind of sucks. At least I got 556 five, ammo. <laughs> Alright, um. What the hell? Where are the people? These are the houses. It's being guarded. You can't jump over this stupid fence. Well, maybe you can if you do it like the smart way. <laughs> jump! No! What the hell? <laughs> there you go. Okay, man. Um, maybe I missed something here. Ah. Wait, and I can take these? <laughs> what up? Oh, and I get radiation, man. A lot of radiation. Stealing? No way. 
Nah, man. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna load. <laughs> I feel horrible. I thought maybe I can speak to a person over there or something. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Where are the remaining people? Oh, great. Uh, well... I guess let's take a sleep and maybe people will come out, you know. Requires a key. He was so nice and all, maybe you're gonna, yeah, he gonna allow me to sleep in this good cozy, uh, hero style big bed. <laughs> Let's go. People are out. Hello. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. You were a pilot? Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. <laughs> What are you doing no way? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Did you fly for the NCR? For? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. All right. Watch your six out there. Yes, ma'am. Where are the remaining humans? Who's there? A fucking oh. settler. Come on now. And I gotta bring the target out tonight. Hey man, what's up? Clip. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Oh, mm, sell by sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Oops. Come back. Where the hell are the people? I have no idea. Let's go check out that place. This place that looked like a store. Maybe there are people inside now. Finally. Hello. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. See? I knew it, so neither love triangle or she just ran off. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. No troublemaker. 
What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. <laughs> you just had to point that out. What is the interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Anything else? Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers. <laughs> Hold on. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Yep. Where can I get some supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. All right. What's been going on lately in town? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. What's the quietest way out of this dump? <laughs> <laughs> you can jump out the window for all I care, mister. You got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. Folks work hard to keep it clean and safe. We do the best we can, but still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no pleasing. I was just kidding. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Seems like a nice town. Well, it is. Not everybody appreciates it like they oughta. Especially that mushroom uh, sticking out of the bathtub. <laughs> I like to rent a room. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? Uh, 100 cops for a, what, a night? Probably hold on. Oh, well, all right. I just want to buy Watch a room, for like for good. Watch out for strangers, man. Okay. Well, I'm hungry. I think I'm also thirsty. Oh, man. Guess I'm gonna have to go to Good Springs. Get some sleep or drink some radiation water I don't know hey well I got some sleep I got some food uh, freaking now So what's up? Let's do that one first. All right. But first, I need to grab some water. And I think these folks will be more than happy to give me a zip of that water. Man. She probably ran off. I'm telling you. What? Where's the water thing? 
How you guys survive in this place? No water. You serious? You guys drinking out of the toilet? Oh man. Hell no. There must be some water here. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Oh no, Debrahim. I don't believe I've been, uh... Hey, water! Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. Look who's here. I'm not gonna drink out of the toilet. Hello. Find anything? Not yet. Well, don't worry. You can tell me about Boom Wife. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Hmm. I think she ran off. She was not kidnapped. What brings you here? <sighs> Can you tell me about... Boone's what? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? Yep. I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Well, wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Nice of you to visit. Find anything? Nope. Well, don't worry yourself. Duh. Is that a house? Or is it a locked thing? Let's go check it out. I think she ran off. How about I speak to Boone and tell him, Yo, bro. Uh, nobody kidnapped your wife, man. She just ran off. To Vegas. <laughs> She's like, sorry, uh, I gotta tell you the way it is, man. You boring. <laughs> <laughs> Poor snipe. M man, I, you know what? On the other hand, <laughs> saying something like that to a sniper may be a bad idea. <laughs> sorry, man, you're boring. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm boring. You go headshot. <laughs> oh, where's Boone's room? Manny Vargas, Doradel. Hey, man! I know you had a big long. L you need to leave. You shouldn't be here. If people know we talked, they'll suspect you. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the Legion after both of us. Uh, what I supposed to do again? Find out who had Carla kidnapped. Bring him out in front of the dinosaur while I'm working my shift. Let me know it's him by putting on the beret I gave you. That's it. Now go on. Yeah. Damn it, man. I'm, I just want to tell him, bro, your wife ran off. This game just gotta make things complicated. Any human beings here?
Oh, it's you again. What is it? Uh, yeah, hmm. yeah. They couldn't be. Don't tell me it's the dinosaur, man. Definitely not the ranger. And his buddy doesn't sound that he would do such thing like that. Maybe. He should be on duty now. Hey. Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Tell me about Boone's wife again. Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Nah, man. Definitely not him. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a discount at my store. Ah! Uh, so you Come met back us... soon now. Oh. Let's speak to the guy again. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. <laughs> Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. It don't seem that everybody wants to kill her. Or do something bad. Believe me. When I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. And I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. But he wants to be friends with Boone. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Because this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this episode. Yeah, see ya. In the next episode, we're going to go deal with some ghouls. Come back and think again. Or maybe, uh, who would you think should I pull out? Any suggestions? But anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, y'all know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to swear as those comments get triggered by YouTube and nobody see them. I see them, I read them, and I delete them. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Salt from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. And I'm gonna go record the first episode for uh, Valhalla. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'll catch y'all later. Comment down below. Who do you think is the cockroach here? Or she ran off? Personally, I think she ran off. <laughs>